my poem, Once Upon a Time, dedicated to a world where common sense prevails towards economic, scientific, political, and scholarly goals. Once upon a time, humans were scattered in open countryside. Cities were small, blended side by side, maintaining charm, art, and cultural pride. Everyone enjoyed fresh air and sunshine. Grandparents knew all about food health needs. Parents learned to care for a family big. Neighbor helped delivering babies without notice. Raising child was community events, not expensive worries. Food was always organic without pesticides. Everyone was safe, not knowing homicide. News was more than advertisement, felony, and crimes. Commons knew moderation meant healthy life. Police were peacekeepers without gun. High-rise buildings didn't block sun. People confessed to priests and nuns for sincere corrections without jail terms. Gasoline, processed snacks, and carbonated drinks were not the main economic engine. Military, healthcare, prison, porn industry were not in perception, even as alien mystery. People used to greet each other, way to market, where they made local farmers displaying baskets, fresh flowers, produce, grains, and animals, exchanged hands from their loving children. Fruits and vegetables were sold in dozens or baskets, prized in way inedible stems and branches. People could eat vegetable skins for nourishment fresh fruits without smell of chemical and waxes. Children used to look beautiful in school uniform. Schoolyard was not meant for display of fashion. Innocence and adolescence enjoyed learning with fun. No one could think ever a student with a gun. War among countries had laws, even scheduled time forbidding barbaric attack on civilians at night. Politicians knew the meaning of speaking under oath without competing for lies or holding truth for votes. Military meant for defending own country, not to hurt others beyond border for supremacy. Patriot meant one's love and respect for the land, not who sent soldiers beyond border for invasion. Jesus meant love, neighborly, and friendliness, not deadly cross, a symbol of dominance. Poems by Kolke. Even in ancient world, war had rules and ethics. How civilized USA British Israeli taxpayers ended up produce, producing military leaders and, and advisors who just want to kill and destroy anytime, anywhere, with least respect to international rules and regulations, ignoring civilian sufferings in distant lands. Question is why they do that? Is it because they are other kind? One needs to address this. Love is the ultimate security which does not require expensive, idle, mischievous, covert intelligence, violent military, destructive defense industries, and divisive ideologies. God bless all citizens. God bless our world.